Hi, and this is week three's log of being stage manager for Fern. This week, my main focus was completing the production schedule with all of the other stage managers, as we finally got finalised dates of production week, meaning we could finally work out the production schedule and show dates for all the productions. It was very important that we created this schedule with all the stage managers for all the shows so that we could create a logical schedule that would work for all the productions but would also give us enough amount of time between the shows to change over the set and making sure each production has the same time for tech as each other to make it fair. The way we decided the order of the shows was looking through the sets and seeing what would take the most time to get in and what had the most complicated scenery. We also needed to work out the changes that each production were doing to the steel deck structure, as young Mark and Ben were having the same steel deck but Plough and Stars were going to take the two front pieces of steel deck out. This meant that Plough and Stars needed to either be the first production or the last one. We decided that Plough and Stars should be the last production as it's quicker to take down the steel deck than put it up and there isn't as much time in the changeover of shows. We need to try and reduce the amount of things that we're changing as much as possible to reduce this changeover time. After deciding that Plough and Stars was the going to be the final show, we then needed to decide the order of the two remaining shows. We looked at the set and realised that Young Marks has a lot more big set pieces than Fenn, and therefore that should be the first show. The final order of the shows is going Young Marks, Fenn, then Plough and Stars. Once we decided the order of the shows, we looked at the dates that we were given by the old rep. They were the 17th of May to the 28th of May. This means the 28th of May must be a get out so it would filled in straight away on the schedule. We also knew that the 17th needed to be a get in day for both LX and set, including the set dressing of Young Marks for the first show. This all needs to happen on this one day as the next day needed to be used for tech as it was the only way we could fit in all of the shows. After discussing for a while we finally confirmed the show dates for all the productions. Due to not having enough time for both casts for all the shows will have to be performed on the same day, one in the morning and one in the evening. The show dates for Young Marks are on the Thursday the 20th of May, Fenn to be on Monday the 24th of May and Plough and Stars to be on Thursday the 27th of May. To finish the schedule we made sure that every group had an equal amount of time for tech and that there will be a dress rehearsal for both casts in all the shows. Once we'd finished the first schedule, the stage management team presented this to the rest of the production team to make sure that there was enough time for everything that needed to happen on each day. We also used this opportunity to answer any questions they may have had about the production week. This did bring something to our attention for the dress rehearsal we planned to happen on the Sunday. I originally said I wanted for the rehearsal to start at 9am, however due to the delaying train times this was no longer possible. I decided to change this to starting at 10.30am. This would gain, then give people enough time to be able to make it to the Old Rep Theatre. Once we had made the adjustments, we emailed it out to the production manager so that he could sign it off and give us the OK to email it to the whole production team and the directors to email out to the cast. Also, due to the date changing, this meant that I then had to change my deadline schedule document. This is important as we now had more time before the get-in and this will mean that the task deadlines would have changed. It is important to keep this up to date with specific tasks and it, due to the date changes, for example the construction deadline could be pushed backwards slightly giving more time for the scenic constructors than the on the original schedule. We also had our weekly meeting with the director. This week it was mainly focusing on the, showing the final designs and working out whether or not it would work getting feedback on certain things that may need changing. I also managed to ask her about the props and attending rehearsals. This is really important so that I could start creating rehearsal blocking and record certain aspects of the production to relay this information to the rest of the production team. This meeting was done online as we were in lockdown at the time with COVID-19 restrictions. And that is what I completed this week as stage manager for Fenn.